Do red light therapy masks work? Is it worth the investment? And what do you need to know before you buy one? I'll answer these questions in this video. I'm a naturopathic doctor and I specialize in regenerative technology and regenerative therapies such as hyperbaric therapy and red light therapy. I use big red light therapy beds and panels for my clients to help them recover from chronic disease and optimize their health. This is somewhat different. I tested the mask for two months and this is what I found. Before I tell you about my personal experience with red light mask, I'd like to explain what they actually do. So red light masks are primarily used for aesthetic, cosmetic, and skin anti-aging purposes. They increase the firmness of the skin, they smooth fine lines, they decrease inflammation, and they improve the actual appearance of the skin, making it look more vibrant and younger. However, I've seen more benefits beyond cosmetic benefits in people using red light therapy masks because at the end of the day, red light therapy delivered by the mask or delivered by another device is red light therapy. So I've seen improvement in chronic sinusitis and all kinds of dental inflammation because we're putting the mask near the sinuses and near dental structures such as teeth and gums. Any light therapy device, whether it's a face mask or a bed or a panel, will use different wavelengths of light that has an ability to penetrate through the skin and when they go deep enough, they can reach the cell and go to mitochondria, for example, to produce energy. In face masks, we usually use red light wavelengths, infrared and sometimes blue. Blue is used for acne and general inflammation of the skin. Red light, for example, goes to upper dermis and mid dermis where fibroblasts that are responsible for collagen production live. So red light will bring the benefits like a reduced fine lines, improved firmness of the skin and improved radiance of the skin. Near infrared, which starts in 700s and goes to about 900 nanometers, reaches much deeply than red wavelength. It can go deep up to two centimeters and it will influence inflammation, so it will decrease inflammation, it will improve circulation, and it's sort of responsible for long-term recovery in general health, not only of the skin of the face, but deeper structures as well. When these two wavelengths are used together, red and near infrared, especially on the face, this will result in more radiance, smoother skin, less fine lines, and more collagen production. This year I turned 50, so of course I want to feel good but I also want to look younger and I think that's absolutely normal to feel that way. So I'm constantly looking for different solutions that will help me optimize the quality of my skin. 60 days ago, I decided to do an experiment. I ordered a red light therapy face mask and I committed to two months of everyday use. I used a mask with the highest lead density I could find on the market and the link to that specific mask is in the video description if you're interested. So I would put it on highest intensity and I used it 25 minutes every day, both red light and infrared. And this is what I found. Well, in the first three weeks, honestly, I did not see any difference. I did not see any difference in the fine lines that I have or maybe in the firmness of my cheeks. Normally my skin is not inflamed so I couldn't see any difference there either. But anyways, I decided to continue because I committed to 60 days of everyday use. And then on week five and six, people started to comment, I have a really deep line here between my eyebrows so my family commented that the line was not as visible. I could also see in the magnifying mirror I have in my bathroom that the fine lines around my eyes are smoother.
But the biggest compliment and the biggest difference that I've noticed was actually a facelift that came through the increased firmness around the cheekbones. And for me, I think that was the most important uh, benefit that I was looking for. So I can contest that I definitely saw improvement in the quality of my skin and the quality of the collagen beneath my skin. However, I've noticed some improvements that I didn't expect. As many of you know, and I talked about it a lot on my YouTube channel, I had a dental surgery to remove cavitations and to change an old root canal for an implant. And unfortunately, implant was not healing as I wanted it to heal and it was taking time and I was getting annoyed with it. So when I started to use red light therapy mask in about two weeks, I started to notice improvement in this area, which was totally unrelated to the quality of my skin. It was related to how fast the implant was healing. I also noticed that my sinuses were a lot clear so I didn't get that mucus in the morning and I just felt generally better. I do have a low immune system function from the autoimmune disease that I have so normally I get sick six to seven times a year. However, in these two months that I was using red light therapy face mask every day I didn't get sick. I don't know if that's a coincidence or actually the consequence of the fact that red light therapy modulates immune system function. What's interesting that even though red light therapy mask was applied strictly on my face, we know from the research that not only mitochondria in the area where we apply red light will respond, it's actually a systemic response throughout the body when you apply red light therapy to any part of your body. So these were the additional benefits. Now, when the experiment ended and I was quite happy with the result, I wanted to do the second part of the experiment where I would stop using red light therapy mask to see how many weeks the results would last. And I can tell you from my personal experience, the results last almost as long as you use the mask. I mean, I could still see the benefits for three to four weeks after stopping using the mask, but by the end of the four weeks, I realized just by looking at myself in the mirror and taking photos before and after, I've realized that I need to go back. So I think consistency in using the mask is very important. Frequency of the sessions are important as well. I used it seven times a week. I've seen reports of doing it three to seven times a week being successful or uh, sort of people getting, I've seen the frequency out there from three to seven times a week with tangible results. Doing it less than three times a week generally will not bring the results that you want to see in improved physical appearance, but it will still, of course, increase circulation and bring down inflammation. If you'd like to reproduce these results and also get the benefits from red light therapy face mask, I think choosing the right mask is an important step. So there are certain things that you need to look for when you choose a red light therapy mask. First is flexibility. It needs to be flexible because it needs to follow the curvature of your face. You need a close contact of lead lights with the skin. Also look for different wavelengths. Generally, you want to have red wavelengths and infrared. So these two will work differently. Remember, we talked about it at, at the beginning of this video. The number of LED lights is very important as well. Look for 200 plus LED lights in the um, actual face mask and the more, of course, the better. Now, there's also a concept of intensity and irradiance. And although these are super important, there's a lot of confusion in the industry whether or not the actual device delivers the actual irradiance and intensity that it claims it does. So until we have 
proper equipment to measure those, I would not focus on irradiance and intensity as much simply because the information that you might read in the manual might not be the actual information that you get when you measure it in the laboratory. So in my opinion, when you get a lot of LED lights, if you get a flexible mask, if you choose the right wavelengths, if you use it every day for the specific amount of time that should be between 20 to 25 minutes, this is when you would most likely get the results. I'll be very interested to know about your experiences. If you use thread light therapy face masks and what kind of results did you see, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, if you have more questions about face red light therapy mask, leave it in the comment section and I'll be very glad to answer those questions to my best knowledge.